So I wanted to make a quick video today, um, kind of a before and after, because I decided to update all of my six axle locomotives to have PTC antenna rays, kind of uh, what you may see on the railroads today. So got a couple of Norfolk Southern heritage units I'll be updating, a couple of regular Norfolk Southerns, SD70M-2s, a couple dash nines. You can see here I already started the process with uh, the Conrail 8098 and the UP 8444. So this is kind of the before. And then I'll show you what I'll be using, and then I'll show you the after. Okay, so I've done this before, and um, I used 3D Workshop off of eBay for the PTC antennas. However, I couldn't find them this time. I don't know if they went out of business or they just stopped making these. So instead, I found on eBay another 3D printed. Uh, but as you can see, it was really hairy, and it just I didn't think it looked that good. It was clunky. So I kind of abandoned that, and instead, I went with... Uh, Pacific Northwest Resins. That's Pacific Northwest Resins. And um, I thought they were great. Uh, so I primed them, I painted them. I tried to follow prototypical pictures the best I could, but I also am just kind of doing it off of uh, what I think looks good. So these are the, the antenna farms that are ready to uh, go on the engines. All right, so this is the paints and primers I used. I used uh, all Vallejo products, the surface primer, black and white, and then game color, various colors. Uh, what I like about these paints is I think, I think they're used a lot to paint uh, miniatures, but they have a high pigment content. So really you only have to apply one coat and you're, you're pretty much good to go. So those are the paints I used. Then unfortunately, some of the uh, engines, the current antennas are actually molded plastic on top of the cab so I picked up this I guess small Dremel kit uh, off of Amazon Valstar I think it was like $20-$22 uh, and it's been great it has grinders sanders um, so this has made the job so much easier all right I'll just show you the process of one of these uh, I recommend taping off with like blue tape just to pretend protect the paint as you go to grind off the existing uh, antennas. And then here's a quick look at what it looks like after it's cut and removed. The next step would be to grind it. Okay, so here is the top of the cab all ground down smooth. And as you can see, when you put the antenna on, I'm gonna have to do a little paint matching. Uh, but that shouldn't be a problem. Now it sits nice and flush. So a couple of the cabs, when I took the antennas off, there was actually holes in it. So when I put the new antenna on, uh, you could actually see through it. So I filled any holes with the perfect plastic putty. This stuff's great. It's fast drying. You can paint it quickly. So this is what I use to fill up any gaps. All right, so just to show you, I did have to do some touch-up painting, and for the two uh, Pennsylvania and Lehigh units, I used Game Color Scarlet Red. And for the most part, it's a pretty good match. You're not going to be able to see it really well, any difference once the antenna's on. And because the Pennsylvania unit is a little bit darker, I mix this with just a little bit of black to darken it for the Pennsylvania unit. All right, so all the existing antennas have been removed. All the tops of the calves have kind of been painted. You can kind of see it drying uh, as close to the match as I possibly could. And now all the next step is to let the paint dry and then put on the new antennas. Okay, so here's the final antennas ready to go on the locomotives. And because all the molds were identical, I decided to mix it up a little bit and uh, give a little variation. So what I ended up doing is painting some old sprues. These had some old handrails on them. Just painted the tips white, uh, clipped off the tips, and then in various places just applied them. 
So I think it gives it a nice, uh, nice variety, different antennas for different locomotives. All right, so the next step is to put them on. So the PTC antenna upgrade is finally complete. So let me just show you some up close videos of how the engines. I tried to make them as prototypical as I could by looking at some photographs to see were they gray, were they black. But I also then took some uh, some freedoms on what I thought looked good. But overall, Pacific Northwest resins, I think I would recommend their PTC antenna rays. All right. Thanks for watching.